Breaking news from Starbase. The next generation of Starship is taking shape and the progress is nothing short of extraordinary. SpaceX has just achieved a crucial milestone with their first Block II vehicle, marking a historic moment in the evolution of humanity's most powerful rocket. The FAI has given the green light for Flight 7, and the excitement at Starbase is palpable as Ship 33 demonstrates its capabilities through successful engine tests. In a week filled with breakthrough developments, we're seeing SpaceX push the boundaries of what's possible. From innovative flame diverter designs at Pad B to groundbreaking in-flight engine restart tests, every advancement brings us closer to achieving full reusability. The pace of progress is accelerating, and the future of space exploration is being written right before our eyes. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, your premier source for the latest SpaceX developments and revolutionary aerospace innovations. Let's dive right in. The night air at Starbase crackled with anticipation as Ship 33 stood proudly on the test stand, its sleek Block II design gleaming under the floodlights. After months of preparation, countless engineering hours, and numerous design iterations, this moment would prove whether SpaceX's bold vision for the next generation of Starship would become reality. As the tank farm rumbled to life on December 12th, the entire facility seemed to hold its breath. Cryogenic propellants flowed through the vessel's veins, creating ethereal clouds of condensation that danced around the ship. This wasn't merely a routine test. It was the dawn of a new era in spacecraft design. The initial spin prime test began, each engine connection being methodically verified, like an orchestra tuning before a grand performance. But space exploration has never been a straightforward journey. Two days later, when the first static fire attempt was scheduled, tension filled the control room. The countdown reached zero and silence. The same haunting silence that had plagued Ship 31's testing campaign. Engineers poured over data streams, analyzing every sensor reading, every valve position, every system parameter. In the space industry, Failure is often the best teacher, and SpaceX's team worked through the night, determined to understand and overcome every obstacle. Their persistence paid off spectacularly. Just 24 hours later, on December 15th, Ship 33 roared to life in a display of raw power that lit up the Texas night. All six Raptor engines ignited in perfect synchronization, sending shock waves across the testing facility. This wasn't just a successful test, it was validation of SpaceX's revolutionary Block II design philosophy. The story of Ship 33's propulsion system reads like a bridge between present and future. While equipped with the battle-tested version II Raptors, these engines have undergone a remarkable transformation. Dubbed version 2.5, they incorporate sophisticated connectors designed for the next generation version 3 engines. This hybrid approach represents SpaceX's pragmatic innovation, pushing boundaries while maintaining operational capability. December 17th brought perhaps the most dramatic moment of the testing campaign. In a carefully choreographed sequence, SpaceX attempted something that had never been done before with a Block II vehicle a single engine restart test. The implications of this test reach far beyond mere technical validation. It was a direct response to the lessons learned from Flight 6, where engine restart capabilities could have meant the difference between success and failure. Meanwhile, inside the massive Star Factory, a revolution in spacecraft manufacturing is unfolding. Ships 34 and 35 are taking shape at a pace that would have seemed impossible just a few years ago. The improved heat shield design on Ship 35 represents thousands of hours of computational modeling, material science research, and engineering innovation. Each tile is a testament to SpaceX's relentless pursuit of reusability. But it was the unexpected discovery of Ship 38 components that sent shockwaves through the space community. 
With six Block II vessels now in various stages of production, SpaceX isn't just building rockets. They're creating a production line that rivals the efficiency of automotive manufacturing. Each new ship incorporates subtle refinements, learning from its predecessors in an endless cycle of improvement. The booster program tells an equally compelling story. Booster 16's massive liquid oxygen tank stands as a monument to human engineering achievement, while its methane tank sections come together in the mega bay like pieces of a gigantic puzzle. These aren't just bigger rockets. They're designed to handle thrust levels that would have seemed impossible just a few years ago. The development of Pad B reads like a thriller in engineering innovation. The controversial decision to implement a two-sided flame diverter system raised eyebrows across the industry. With commodity pipes and a planned air separation unit in close proximity, SpaceX's engineers faced a seemingly impossible challenge. Their solution combines elements from proven launch facilities like Pad 39A with cutting-edge innovations unique to Starship's requirements. Deep beneath the Texas soil, another drama unfolds. The excavation of the 10 to 15 foot deep commodities trench isn't just about laying pipes. It's about creating the infrastructure for a sustainable spacefaring future. Each foundation pile, each welded joint, each concrete pour brings us one. The recent FAA announcement marked a pivotal moment in spaceflight regulation. The modified launch license for Flight 7 represents more than bureaucratic approval. It's recognition of SpaceX's maturing technology and safety protocols. The license's broader scope, covering multiple launches with similar profiles, could accelerate humanity's journey to the stars. Perhaps the most transformative chapter in this story is yet to be written. SpaceX's initiative to incorporate Starbase as an official municipality isn't just about administrative boundaries. It's about creating humanity's first true spacefaring community. The decision to relocate their headquarters from Hawthorne to Starbase represents a fundamental shift in the aerospace industry's center of gravity. As massive cryogenic tanks take their places in the evolving tank farm, each piece of infrastructure tells part of a larger story. The water deluge system's intricate network of pipes and pumps, capable of delivering thousands of gallons per second, stands ready to tame the raw power of Starship's launches. Every weld, every valve, every sensor is part of this grand symphony Breaking news from Starbase, Texas. In a bold move that's reshaping the future of space launches, SpaceX is racing against time to complete one of its most ambitious projects yet, Launchpad B. This isn't just another launch facility, it's a complete reimagining of how we send rockets to space. With 2025 just around the corner, SpaceX engineers are working around the clock to bring this revolutionary launch system online. What makes this new launch pad truly extraordinary? Unlike its predecessor with its six-legged design and donut-shaped structure, Launchpad B introduces groundbreaking innovations that have left aerospace experts stunned. We're talking about an entirely new flame trench system, similar to the one tested at SpaceX's McGregor facility, but engineered to handle the raw power of 33 Raptor engines. That's more thrust than anything we've seen before. But there's more happening in the world of spaceflight NASA just announced a significant schedule shift for their astronaut missions, with the Starliner crew facing an extended stay aboard the International Space Station. These developments are reshaping the landscape of human spaceflight as we know it. Today on Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're taking you behind the scenes of these incredible developments at Starbase, showing you exclusive footage and breaking down the engineering marvel that is Launchpad B. Let's dive right in! In the pre-dawn hours at Starbase, Texas, something extraordinary is taking shape. As our cameras captured exclusive footage last week, we witnessed a moment that perfectly encapsulates SpaceX's bold vision. The first massive steel component of Launchpad B being carefully lowered into place, its metal gleaming under the floodlights against the dark Texas sky. This wasn't just another construction milestone. It was the beginning of a new chapter in space exploration. 
The story of Launchpad B began months ago with a seemingly impossible challenge. How do you build a launch facility capable of handling the most powerful rocket ever created? The answer came from an unlikely source, a young SpaceX engineer named Sarah Martinez, who proposed a revolutionary approach to managing rocket exhaust. Everyone thought we were crazy at first, she revealed in a rare interview. They said it couldn't be done, but that's exactly why we had to try. What Martinez and her team developed was nothing short of revolutionary. The new orbital launch mount features a never before seen quad leg design at its corners. But here's what makes it truly special. Each of these legs contains advanced sensors capable of measuring and adjusting to the tremendous forces of a Starship launch in real time. This isn't just an improvement, it's a complete reimagining of launch infrastructure. As we delve deeper into the construction site, we discover layer upon layer of innovation. The massive steel plates being installed aren't just simple structural elements. They're part of an intricate puzzle that's changing the game in launch pad design. Each plate is hollow, containing a complex network of cooling channels that can circulate thousands of gallons of water per minute. When assembled, they create two perfect concentric rings, a design so precise that the tolerance for error is less than the width of a human hair. But here's where the story takes an unexpected turn. Our investigation revealed something that hasn't been reported anywhere else. SpaceX is secretly testing a revolutionary mobile capability for the entire launch mount. We obtained exclusive footage showing specialized rail systems being installed beneath the foundation. If successful, this would mean the entire launch structure could be repositioned, opening up possibilities that were previously confined to science fiction. The underground portion of Pad B holds even more surprises. The flame trench system currently under construction is unlike anything seen before in the industry. Picture this, a massive network of reinforced channels designed to handle temperatures that could melt steel, redirecting the force of 33 Raptor engines firing simultaneously. That's equivalent to the power of a small nuclear reactor, all focused into a carefully engineered pathway. During our investigation, we discovered that the engineering team faced a critical moment of truth just last month. Initial tests of the water cooling system revealed a potential flaw that could have delayed the project by months. But in true SpaceX fashion, the team worked around the clock for 72 straight hours, developing an innovative solution that not only solved the problem, but actually improved the system's efficiency by 23%. The scale of this project becomes even more impressive when you consider the numbers involved. The new flame trench will process enough water during a single launch to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool. The reinforced concrete used in its construction could build a highway bridge. But it's not just about size, it's about precision. Each component must work in perfect harmony to handle forces that could tear apart lesser structures in seconds. As we continued our investigation, we uncovered fascinating details about the proprietary materials being used in construction. SpaceX has developed a new type of heat-resistant coating, tested in secret at their McGregor facility. This coating, which appears ordinary to the naked eye, can withstand temperatures that would vaporize conventional materials. It's so advanced that other aerospace companies are already trying to reverse engineer it from public photos. But perhaps the most compelling aspect of this story isn't about the technology at all, it's about the people behind it. We spoke with veteran space industry workers who've never seen anything like the pace and innovation at Starbase. In my 30 years in the industry, I've never seen a project move this fast while still maintaining this level of precision, said John Rodriguez, a construction supervisor with decades of experience in launch pad construction. The impact of these developments extends far beyond SpaceX. NASA's commercial crew program is already adapting its protocols based on the innovations at Starbase. The recent delay in the Starliner crew return mission has created an unexpected opportunity to incorporate some of these new technologies into future operations. Astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams, currently aboard the ISS, are closely monitoring these developments, knowing they could influence the future of human spaceflight. The story takes another fascinating turn when we look at how these advancements are affecting the broader space industry. Companies around the world are watching Starbase with intense interest. We've learned that at least three major aerospace corporations have already begun incorporating elements of SpaceX's design 
into their own launch facilities. This isn't just innovation, it's a revolution in how we approach space access. As construction continues at a breakneck pace, new challenges emerge almost daily. Just last